This is Austin Liddy Limits, where authors talk to authors about books and the craft of storytelling. Sponsored by Blue Ink Review, because typing the end is just the beginning. Find out more at blueinkreview.com. Disha Filia's collection of short stories, The Secret Lives of Church Ladies, won the 2021 Penn Faulkner Award for Fiction and was a finalist for a National Book Award. It focuses on black women, sex, and the black church. I'm Disha Filia, and I'm reading an excerpt from Peach Cobbler, a story in my collection of stories, The Secret Lives of Church Ladies. My mother's peach cobbler was so good, it made God himself cheat on his wife. When I was five, I hovered around my mother in the kitchen, watching, close enough to have memorized all the ingredients and steps by the time I was six, but not too close to make her yell at me for being in the way, and not close enough to see the exact measurement she used. She never wrote the recipe down. Without having to be told, I learned not to ask questions about that cobbler or about God. I learned not to say anything at all about him hunching over our kitchen table every Monday, eating plate after plate of peach cobbler, and then disappearing into the bedroom I shared with my mother. I became a silent student of my mother and her cobbler making ways. Even when I was older, and no longer believe that God and Reverend Troy Neely were one and the same, I still long to perfect the sweetness and textures of my mother's cobbler. My mother, who fed me TV dinners, baked a peach cobbler with fresh peaches every Monday, her day off from the diner where she waited at tables. She always said Sunday was her Saturday and Monday was her Sunday. What I knew was that none of her days were for me. And for many of those Mondays off and on during my childhood, God, to my child's mind, would stop by and eat an entire eight by eight pan of cobbler. My mother never ate any of the cobbler herself. She said she didn't like peaches. She would shoo me out of the kitchen before God could offer me any, but I doubted he would have offered even if I had sat right down next to him. God was an old fat man, like a black Santa, and I imagined my mother's peach cobbler contributing to his girth. Some Mondays, God would arrive after dinner and leave as I lay curled up on the couch watching Little House on the Prairie in the living room. Other times, my mother and God would already be in the bedroom when I got home from school. I could hear moaning and pounding like a board hitting a wall as soon as I entered the house. I would shut the front door quietly behind me and tiptoe down the hall to listen outside the bedroom door. Oh God, oh God, oh God, my mother would cry. I could hear God too, his voice low and growly saying yes, yes, yes. This has been a presentation of Austin Liddy Limits, made possible with help from our good friends at Blue Ink Review. We're typing, the end is just the beginning. Find out more at blueinkreview.com.